morning and thank you for joining our daily outlook. And today we'll cover the changes in the euro dollar pair. Emma will be sharing insights from our trading desk. The euro dropped 0.5% against the dollar in the last session. According to the CCI, we are in an overbought market. Facebook shares rose 0.9% in the last session. The RSI is giving a negative signal, which matches our overall technical analysis. The pound dollar pair saw a minor rise of 0.1% in the last session. The ultimate oscillator is giving a positive signal. The Aussie dollar pair corrected downwards in the last session, falling 0.2%. According to the Stochastic RSI, we are in an overbought market. Thank you, Emma, for sharing with us. Now let's hear our news department. Russia and Iran have discussed swapping supplies for oil and gas as well as setting up a logistics hub. Russian Deputy Prime Minister Alexander Novak said as Moscow is challenging Western sanctions over its military operation in Ukraine. Global stock markets are higher after Wall Street sank on weak U.S. housing sales and a profit warning by prominent social media brands. London, Frankfurt, Shanghai and Hong Kong advanced. The Silicon Valley firm announced a new 4.5 billion U.S. dollar fund for backing crypto and blockchain chain companies. Partners liken the long-term opportunity in crypto to the next major computing cycle after PCs in the 1980s, the internet in the 1990s and the mobile computing in the early 2000s. Thank you for this, Emma. Coming up, today's major economic events. The U.S. Gross Domestic Product Annualized will be released at 12.30 GMT. The U.S. Gross Domestic Product Price Index at 12.30 GMT. Italy's Business Confidence at 0800 GMT. Italy's Consumer Confidence will be released at 0800 GMT. Japan's Tokyo Consumer Price Index at 23.30 GMT. And Japan's Tokyo CPI at 23.30 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log in tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.